Hi everybody, it's Scott with Kyromox. We're kicking off a new campaign on print, PR, and PPC. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about direct mail and give you a few tips on that and how to make your direct mail campaigns more effective. Um, there's a host of, of ideas, all kinds of things you can do to make it more effective. We're going to focus on five today. Let's go ahead and start at the top. Don't assume, educate. Um, with any marketing piece you do, um, it helps to make sure that your audience is educated. Don't assume that they know everything you're talking about and be too brief. Um, your headline, whatever you lead off with, is going to really bring them, if it's good, it's going to bring them into your body copy, and your body copy is where you're going to sell. So um, don't be afraid to provide additional information. Now, you got to be brief. Um, you know, keep it into five sentences or less if you can. Uh, remember, your audience is typically going to be scanning this. So make it, don't use heavy words that confuse them and make it difficult to scan. But also educate them as they're going through this. Um, provide additional details. Um, also, sometimes in, in the very beginning, it's, it's a little too much to ask your audience to take a step like going to a website or going to a phone number to learn more. Educate them where you can, where you have the ability. Um, the second point here is targeting. So um, this is knowing your audience, uh, knowing if, if you have a list that you know is going out to um, an audience that tends to be more senior citizens, um, write to the senior citizens. Now this seems like common sense, but a lot of times we don't think about it when we're preparing direct mail. So a senior citizen is going to have more of the aches and pains, the neck pain, the back pain, those kind of issues. Um, if, you're, if your audience you know is more young families uh, with student athletes or students or, or they have the other issues and, 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 and chiropractic needs that uh, a younger family typically has, make sure you're talking to them and addressing the, the pains and the, the life issues that, um, that an audience in their demographics typically have. So target where you can. Um, the third option we're talking about here is the, is the call to action, CTA. Um, we assume if we uh, put a website in there or we put a, a phone number in or we put an email address in that people are just going to understand that's what we want them to do. But um, what's clear to us is not always clear to the audience. So if you want them to take an action, uh, the action you want them to take, I should say, is, is calling. Don't just put your phone number in there. Maybe repeat it a few times and in the most obvious spot, ask them to call. Say something like, uh, for more information, please pick up the phone and give us a call at, and then you list your phone number. If you want them to go to a website, do the same. Don't just put the website on there, but visit us here. And if you want them to go to your contact page, list that. Talk about the form you want them to fill in. Be specific with your call to action. Fourth point, consider the medium. So um, this is, we've all seen and, and received different pieces of direct mail. Uh, they come on different in different formats and, and different paper types. Uh, and there's uh, there's a reason to use different types here. So the most common one is the postcard and we all get them. And um, They're a great medium in that they're, they're, they stand up to a lot of wear and tear. If they're thicker paper and they're glossy coated, the chances are they'll get to your audience intact. Um, the problem with postcards is they tend to look more mass produced because they are. And um, people have an easier time throwing them away, not paying much attention to them. Uh, they think they've gone out to everyone in their entire neighborhood, and a lot of times they have. Um, so it's easier for, for people to discard them uh, and pay them no attention. Um, if you want to avoid that, and you have a, a higher dollar proposition, um, or you need more of a custom look, custom feel, personal a a attention that you're paying to this unique consumer, a lot of times they can be approach of a letter in an envelope. Uh, with a hand signature on there is, is another idea and that will, uh, chances are, get them to open it or be more likely to open it and pay more attention, at least for a little while, to that letter. Costs more and it's more time consuming to do it that way, but it gets the desired effect. So consider the medium you're writing and preparing this direct mail piece on. It'll have different effects depending on what you do. Uh, the final point is personalizing. Uh, so your list may or may not have details of your audience. Um, and the less details, the less you can do. But if you have specific details from a first name, a last name, um, a location, interests, birth dates, I mean, the, the list can go on and on. You can personalize to any level. But uh, we've all received the different types of mail. Um, on one hand, we have a letter addressed to current resident, and on the other hand, we have a letter addressed to you specifically by name. And we both know um, which one is more likely to get our attention. It's the one that actually has our name on it. So if you can do this, do it. Um, if you can mention a birthday, if you can mention a specific interest that they have, or the last time they were in the office, or anything like that, uh, do it, because that just makes it sound more personalized, and they're going to take it a little more seriously and feel more of a connection to you and to your offering. Um, 
Personalization can get expensive though, depending on what level you go to. Make sure you understand your budget before you just jump into it head first. So those are five points that will help you uh, have a more effective direct mail campaign. We can go on and on with more, and if you've got more questions, please feel free to reach out to us here. You can check us out online at chiromox.com. Uh, and certainly check us out because we've got more topics that we're going to be talking about on this series, the print, PR, and PPC. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for visiting.